Good day everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you're having an awesome day. It's a nice uh, sunny day here in, um, in uh, South Africa, Johannesburg. Um, so today's video is going to go about the, um, just talking a little bit more about the EX30's uh, autopilot and um, I'm going to talk today about something that it's very controversial and um, I don't I don't think it's um, obviously it's, it's it's something that you do at your own risk um, but I'm, I'm going to focus on on self-driving today on the EX30 and why I say that the EX30 is probably the closest that we will get to to self-driving from a Tesla point of view um, it, it it's definitely not self-driving the fact that you will be taken from A to B but um, I've, I've analyzed the, the data from from the website and you're more than welcome to 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 go to the website I will definitely suggest that um, on the ultra it really has got all these extra features that is just mind-blowing um, and I and I do think that the architecture of the software and how it's written it's very much written already close enough to the EX90 so I wouldn't think they would go with all these extra cameras and all the extra um, uh, LiDAR and, and, and sensors and so forth if if it were not very close and similar to to what the EX90 um, you know is, is, is having so they really up up the ante if it comes to um, uh, speaking out. So I'm, I'm going to um, show you guys. Um, and if you look at up at the first one, you, if you if you take the three first three categories of of the EX90, it shows you that if if it's got the speed and is if it's got the in, uh, oncoming lane mitigation and the, the run of road mitigation, it just shows you that. With those three factors, putting them together and in a nutshell, this shows you that it, basically if you're on the highway and you know what you're doing and you're still alert, um, you know, obviously you've got the, the sense in the EX30 that uh, do have eye movement detection. So, I mean, you know, it, it will, it will uh, definitely come to a stall stand. I mean, this is all the features that we're going to test. Um, what will happen if you do fall asleep um, and all of these things on a quiet road? Will it slightly pull off and slow down and come to a complete stop type of thing? Um, you know, but what's the reaction there? So, I mean, just that first three, I, I think, gives you, gives you the idea on on how powerful um, the technology is. Um, I, I don't think, honestly speaking, if you don't have lines and you, on, on and the, here I'm talking, if you hear the slow speed, 90, 100 kilometers an hour type of thing, and you want to play it safe, and you want to do a tricking thing that, that the guys, um, if you go online, you will see guys have exactly done that. And you feel safe of doing it and in your surroundings are safe um obviously i mean i'm making statements here that that i will do personally i don't say that you need to do that because it's it's still still very unsafe with the car not not being fully uh, self driving capable but it's so close that you will definitely be safer off than on, on the EX30, then for instance on the XC40, for example. The system has been upgraded, that's the bottom line. And um, it's really an awesome, uh, uh, awesome package. And that's why I say that this car is really, quite frankly, very, very ready for, for um, being self-driving. So yes, and then you've got the safe space technology. Um, I'd, I would suggest going to the website. There's so much they put in this vehicle. Um, there's so much extras that's, that's especially on the Ultra. Um, so you're looking at two, 220, uh, 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 sorry, 180,000 Rand more. But what do you get for that? 
besides the fact that you're getting the two motors four-wheel drive, besides the fact you're getting a much, much faster car, it just makes sense. You, It makes sense in the long run. You know, if this is a car that you're going to keep, and if it's a long-term vehicle, it makes it absolutely sense that it's it's already ready for all of these new new technologies. Um, you know, so yeah, I hope I hope this was this information helped. Um, the next one I'm I'm looking to do, um, I probably yeah the, the the next one I'm going to do is going to talk about load shedding in South Africa. And um, I hate talking about that in, in, in South Africa in the sense that everybody goes on about it and we need to wait for, you know, for, for that to come to an end. Never, nobody knows when that will ever happen. That, that's not going to stop anyone from, from driving an electric vehicle in South Africa. And it is nothing to worry about. So I'm going to do a whole video about that and explain why that's definitely not an issue and nobody's talking about it. I didn't find anything online as yet I'm really going to go into detail about that because that's really not anything to worry about at all um, So guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one